Hi YouTube, it's Ornwald. And I'm Ornwald. And we're here to uh, do more things and stuff. Do another tag game. Yeah, what she said. So the one that we picked out this time is called the Who is More Likely tag game. Um, honestly, after going over it, it doesn't really have a who is more likely. It's just random questions. But um, I guess we'll get started. Uh, number one, who is the better driver? Uh, oh, dude, totally me, totally me. I I don't drive at all. He technically <coughs> can't drive. Yeah. I don't know if it'd be so much as illegally. My eye derp. See that? He's looking out of this eye. Like he's got this weird. I can only focus out of one eye at a time, and so I have no depth perception. Yeah. He walks into walls. Poor baby. That's what I do. Like seriously, I'm not. I'm not teasing him. He he can't. He walks into walls. And it sucks. I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. But yeah, I'm obviously the better driver because I drive. Yeah. I'm okay at Mario Kart, except for that new one. I hate that new one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, number two, who is more creative? Probably you. I'm not. I'm not very creative. I'm that type of person that like I can pull things together last minute. I'm pretty good at it. In in my in, in Minecraft, I make square houses with no furniture. Number three, who is more likely to give the other food poisoning? See, see, there is a more likely. There is a more likely. How am I gonna give you food poisoning? I don't even cook. That's why, because if you were to cook, you wouldn't know how to cook it. Hey, my eggs are tasty. Everybody likes my eggs. That's true. He's the only one in the house that knows how to make good over easy eggs. I'm an egg wizard. Just over easy eggs. You can calm your crap. Hey, my scrambled eggs are tasty too. You like them. Okay, then, the question. Who is more likely to give the other food poisoning? Probably still me. Um. Answer. Okay, number four. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Meaning, who is more responsible? That's kind of 50-50. Okay, I'm not, I don't do anything apparently. I just wear a skirt and look pretty. It's what I do. It's what I do. I would, I like, <coughs> not tooting my own horn on it, but I would say I'm a little more responsible. Yeah. And I look sexy in a skirt, so we're good. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> uh, who spends more money? You know that whole shtick that girls like to go shopping and buy shoes? And, no. No. That should not- that, 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 excuse me, that don't happen here. This motherfucker buys video games like nobody's business. I like games! He is the girl in this relationship. My penis begs to differ. Shut up. <laughs> Well, I already blew it on the last video, so... So much for being a family-friendly channel. My bad. Anyway... Yeah, he spends more money. Sometimes, sometimes. Do you agree that the answer is you? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Okay. Who is messier? That sounds me. I'm winning at this game. You want to call that winning? This isn't a competition. But no, like no, not really. But I, I'll clean the room, make everything look nice and pretty. And then hurricane oil, boof, boof. Yes. Like him and my brother, I don't know. Like they just set a foot in the apartment, and everything is everywhere. Like it. There's a shoe in the living room, there's a shoe in the bathroom, there's, like, a shirt over here, and there's socks over there, and there's pants over here, and it's like, really? Yep. 
Really? That's what we're good at. Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine when I actually get? I'm praying for it. When I actually get a freaking job, and I'm not here to clean up your messes. Can you imagine? Yeah. You, good luck. Hey, I I can clean up after myself. I saw that. There's a camera right there. <laughs> right there. Next question. Ow. I didn't even that. Number seven. Who has the crazier family? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say they're crazier. They're just a lot more outspoken. And crazy. Mm, opinionated. Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I just don't like the fights. Yeah, some of them argue a lot. Politics. <sighs> well, but we agree on that one. Yeah, we've agreed on pretty much all of them at this point. And they've all been me. Number eight. Who is the bigger baby when they have a cold? Really? Because I would think me. Because I get all kinds of whiny when I'm sick. I do too, though. I get all cuddly. You're always cuddly! I get cuddlier. You're always cuddly. I'm 50-50, then, I guess. But we have to come up, we have to, like, become unanimous on it. Like, who's... I know when I'm sick, I curl up in a ball and I hide. Or I go and bury myself with my mom. I'm a mama's girl, like... Painfully so. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I think we're both pretty much babies when we're sick. Yeah, pretty much. Like I, I just lay in bed and demand soup. And cuddles. And cuddles. The cuddles help. Uh, number nine. Who is always right? Oh, dude, me. Duh. Two days, you do two days. <laughs> Um, nah, it's, it's like 50-50. Yeah, like in all honesty, yeah. We normally, we compromise on stuff and we talk things out. But if I, if we had to pick, I would say me. Because I have more common sense. Yeah. You do. So. Yeah. Number 10, who is funnier? I have no sense of humor. Not really. Mm. I take everything serious and I pick apart jokes and I'll be there like, how is that funny? Like, how is that remotely funny? And you and you and my brother, you, you and Zales will be like, ah, funny, funny, funny. And I'll be like, huh? Because it doesn't make, like, it's, it's not funny to me. I don't, I guess it's Tumblr. I guess it's from being on Tumblr so much. Tumblr, Tumblr sucks the funny out of you. Sucks the fun out of life. Anyway. All, the, all those lightsabers. Dude. Those lightsabers were cool. Uh, anyway, tangent. Yeah. Uh, Eleven. Who is more organized? No argument there. I am an organization freak. See, see, I'm I'm very scientific about it. You see, there's the the, the, the law of, of, of entropy says at some point. You hit a level of chaos where there can absolutely be no more chaos. And so at that point, it is less work to leave it chaotic because it can't become more chaotic. Basically, that's an excuse for him to leave things messy because yes. things are... Yeah. Yes. But it's science. I don't care. You can, you can use all the science you want to make something reasonable and make it easy for you to use it or whatever you want to call it. His ass is cleaning when I tell him to clean. His ass does. His ass does. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Who is more stubborn? Like, painfully so? I'll agree. Point taken! <laughs> <laughs> I am so- I am bullheaded. I am bullheaded. That's just- But she's mine. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, I suppose. 
but yeah, that's the Gonzalez Valdez in me, because my family are both, they're very stubborn people, especially, especially my dad, like, I got the stubbornness from my dad. Yeah. Okay. Um, 13, in your relationship, who made the first move? Yeah, I guess it would be me. Because, like, okay, our relationship's kind of weird. Because, like I said, we've known each other since we were eight. And, and we were really good friends. And I narrowly escaped the friend zone. Because we were, like, we've always just been friends. Like, we've, we've helped each other out with all our relationships. Like, he would call me and I'd help him get back with his girlfriend or, like, whatever was going on. And one day I had gotten out of, like, a serious relationship. It was, like, three and a half years long. And he messages me, and he's like, hey, do you want to go have lunch? Basically, because, like, what, you had, you had said something like, hey, how are you doing? And I was like, eh. And, yeah. And then he and, was like, well, you want to go have lunch? Yeah, because I was, I was already, I was, at the time I was working at a restaurant, and it was my day off, and I was going to go in for lunch anyway, because I was hungry and I didn't feel like cooking, so I was going to go in f food. And I was like, and and she told me that she she just gotten out uh, out of her, and so she was she wasn't feeling feeling very well. And I was like, do you want to you know have lunch with me? Cause I want to be a good friend, cheer her up. I actually was not intending for this to happen, but it did. Happy. So what? Um, fourteen. Who has studied the hardest in school? Yeah. I've done so many different medical things at Del at our, the college here is Delmar College. Yeah, the community I've, college. I've done so much. A and P. I love anatomy and physiology. I love it. I love it. I love medical stuff. Too many bones. Dude, bones are freaking awesome. There's so many of them. There's like 278 of them. A lot. There's a lot. How many of them are there? Ah. Uh, I will Google it later. Okay. Because I'm, I'm counting like the main bones, the main structural bones. There's like, there's a lot. I don't really want to think about it. Yeah, because there's also a bunch of tiny little insignificant bones. So. Like I, I technically graduated from Delmar like a few months ago for phlebotomy. That's where you draw blood. I'm planning on going back for radiology and then maybe try tackling physical therapy again. I want. I love the medical field. And. Dingus McGee here dropped out of college and then went back because I made him. He's doing good. He's doing very well. He's trying. Um, 15. Who got better grades in school? At high school, you got better grades than I did because... Nope, you graduated ahead of me in the class because I was, I was a slacker. I graduated, we both graduated with honors, didn't we? Yes, but I was, I was ranked lower. I was near the bottom of the list. I was like 80-something. Really? Yep, because I was a slacker. I almost didn't graduate. That's right. Because you're a then, dirt. I, 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 I almost didn't pass senior English because I didn't feel like doing any of the work. He was going through a lot of emotional crap at the time. Yeah, and it was just like, fuck it. <laughs> so then, yes, me. I made better grades, apparently. I swear I thought he made better grades, because he was he always had A's in, like, everything. When well, he would try. When he would try was the key. Okay. 16. Who is better at keeping surprises? Wait, no, yeah. Me. I don't like, I don't do surprises. I don't yeah. let, I don't let him do surprises for me. Nope. I'm, I get into everything. Like, I I find out that something... What are you doing? I'm just moving your hair. Why? I don't know. I like my hair there. I'm trying to hide my face. I don't like my face. Your face is pretty. Um, but, no. I've... Actually, I think I've thrown surprise parties for you already before. Yeah, you've done some surprise stuff for me. Yeah. It's really hard to keep stuff from me, though, because I'm so used to, like, telling you everything. So it's weird, like, I want to surprise you and, ma and, and make it worthwhile for you. And then I'm like, I want it 
Challenge! And it's, re it's really hard for me to surprise you because you drive me places. That too. That and I'm, I'm always in his business. Like, what's going on? What's that? What's that? Nothing. What's going on? There's nothing going on. There's nothing here. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'm better at keeping sprints. Yes, you are. Um, 17. Who is the better cleaner? That's a given. I think I've explained it enough why I'm a better cleaner. 18. Who was more nervous about the wedding? Because you're, yeah. you're worried about, about things going bad. Yeah. I was. I was more nervous, so. Mutual on that one. 19. Who is more likely to go to jail for defending the other's honor? Probably me. Yeah, she'll she'll run someone over with a car. That's my threat for everything. If you piss me off, I'll run you over with my car. Punch you in the face with your car. Punch you in the yeah, punch you in the face with my car. That's that's, <laughs> that's like the, the exact line I say. Because I don't I don't take I don't like taking shit. I don't You irritate me, you're probably gonna meet my car. See, in me, I wouldn't go to jail for defending her honor because I do a very good job at melting the body with acid. I mean, I've seen Breaking Bad. I know how it works. Hey. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, her, probably. Because I just, I piss people off. And they piss me off. And nobody messes with my dude. Okay, last question, number 20. Who is more likely to interact with other people? <laughs> yeah, probably me. I don't like them either, but eh. I mean, I like people. I just, I get nervous. Like, I like the idea of people, but people, people in general. people suck. Like, they don't give a shit about anybody else but them. Some people. Yeah. Don't give a shit about anybody else but themselves. They don't care if they cut in front of you. They don't care if they cut you off. They don't care if you have if they like almost hit your kid. They don't care if they don't they, care if they get if you get their friggin' Nesquik quick jug stuck under your car. Yeah, that happened this morning. Apparently somebody threw this gigantic gallon thing it was a nest quick the nest quick powder that the instant powder chocolate milk and they threw it i don't know how it, but it was in the middle of the street and it got stuck under our car and started it got stuck next to i guess the muffler and was melting yeah and it was, it, was oh. it, it, it was stuck against a hose under there it was, it was jammed up against a hose what you think Good. <laughs> I mean, the, the hose is in place. I mean, no, nothing, there's nothing, I've been driving the car all day and nothing happened, nothing else yeah, came it, up. Yeah, it, it didn't knock was, anything out of place, it just got stuck there and it was dragging, it was starting to like melt off the cement and junk. And then you could hear that like, crackling noise of it when it yeah, was that, being dragged. That, oh. that, that grinding sound, yeah. <sighs> when you can hear it over your radio being loud, oh, I had to stop. Hmm. Mm, yawning contagious, you jerk. I've been yawning this whole video. I know, I saw. I'm sorry, YouTube. It's just late. But that was the last question. Yay! Yay! So, yeah. That was the... Who is more likely to tag? Yeah. Good times, good times. So if you guys, um... Find any other tag games or can suggest any other videos for us to watch to get tag games from. Yeah. Uh, either link them or let us know, like, hey, these people are doing tag games, you're checking them out. Yeah, Check yeah. them out. Yeah, leave, leave a link in the comments or go over to the channel page and send us a message. I think they can do that, right? I think so. I want to yeah. say the messages are turned on. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Be lots of fun. All right, YouTube. Good night. See y'all later. Bye. Hey guys. Um, I actually wanted to, to fix something that we said, or I said, while we were doing this tag video. I noticed that I mentioned something about wanting a job 
and I was adamant about hoping I got said job. Well, I wanted to clarify that I actually have a job. I'm actually working. I'm my mother's caretaker and provider, but it's like I only work four day four hours a day taking care of her, but technically I'm with her 24/7. They just don't pay her for enough of it. Which I mean, I don't. I'm not like making it a big deal. It's just something that was helping us financially because for a long time there we were really stuck in a really nasty hole and the only job I was able to get was one that her insurance helped me get. So I just wanted to clarify that because it sounded kind of bad and I didn't want to, I don't know, I have this weird thing about people thinking I'm like no good or anything, like I'm not worth much of anything. Mm. Oh. <laughs> But, um... You're worth, worth everything to me. But, yeah, my I, I help take care of my mom, and she's my priority, and her health is really bad, so I help her with everything I can. I really just wanted to fix that up, and I'm hoping that um, this phlebotomy, I get a phlebotomy job, and it works out well. Because mm -hmm. I want to keep, I want to stay taking care of my mom, but if I can also do that financially, I'd be very happy with it. Yeah, my baby's got a big heart. I wouldn't say I have a big heart. I just try to do what's right. Is more like babe, <laughs> <laughs> I just which is proper, I guess. But um, yeah. Sorry, I really had to fix that because it was really bothering me. And I also don't want to get in trouble by saying I don't have a job or I'm not doing anything because it is a job and it is important and. Sorry. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>